H.R. 4, very simply, is a politically self-serving attempt to cynically stoke fear and anxiety among Californians and the immigrant community, both legal and undocumented, that are living in our California population, which is, in fact, the exact opposite of what its authors and its supporters are stating that they intend. Of course, we all agree that this is a nation of immigrants. Immigrants built America, their energy and inventiveness, the patriotism with which they have embraced the United States are contributions beyond measure. They, we, have fought and died for American liberties and our way of life. We are all the fresh blood that keeps America young and renewed. But this resolution, H.R. 4, isn't about recognizing what no one is disputing. Instead, it's reckless demagoguery aimed at instilling fear and making immigrants needlessly anxious and fearful about their future. It is beneath the dignity of this body. Just a few days ago, President-elect Trump laid out a threefold approach to immigration on 60 Minutes. He said he would immediately seek to deport all criminal, criminal illegal immigrants. And once we have regained control over the flow of criminal immigration, then, and only then, would the federal government, after the proper amount of time, vetting, and discussion, would formulate a policy for the remaining undocumented population, which, again, is something I think we all should agree on in this body. So I ask, very simply, very clearly, does anyone in this chamber think the United States shouldn't be able to control the level of criminals coming into our country? We are indeed a nation of immigrants, millions and millions of immigrants over the course of two and a half centuries. My own family immigrated to this country. It's worth remembering that we all came here seeking to live freely in a nation of laws, unbothered by arbitrary government that limited our freedom and opportunity, unbothered from governments that sought to distract from failed policies by stoking fear. After reading this resolution, which again, we've only held in our hands for a brief few hours and certainly not 72, I cannot help but think that its politicized spirit has much in common with the nature of the regimes from which many of our immigrants have fled to America. If this body wants to demonstrate its care and concern for the many residents of the state who are immigrants, I suggest we spend our time enacting reforms that will spur job creation economic opportunity and upward mobility, enacting reforms that give poor families, many of whom are immigrants, the opportunity to send their children to the school of their choice, passing reforms that reduce income inequality by reducing taxes, and expanding opportunities for working people to earn more money, keep it, take it home, and raise their families with. I suggest we take meaningful action to offer Californians, immigrant or not, hope and opportunity rather than further dividing the state and instilling fear and anxiety. Because last month, members and family, and anyone else who happens to be watching in the media that will be reporting on this, last month, America spoke. Americans are tired of being ignored. 30 Ord seconds, 30 ordinary, seconds, Mr. Allen. Ordinary, hardworking Americans across the country and in California stood up because they were tired of business as usual. They were tired of being buried under the political agendas of the establishment. And yet here we are ignoring the very real needs of our California residents. By the way, California not only has the highest tax in the nation, we have the highest poverty rate in the nation. These are our real issues. We are ignoring these issues that all of our constituents voted to have us address. I stand here today to tell you that our people are not political props. Our hardworking California citizens will not be silenced. And our legislature shall not stand and should not stand for divisive political ploys like the one being made here today. I urge a no vote on H.R. 4.